You, Mike, were a piece of mud that stuck. Hey, <laughs> it's been called worse. It's been called worse. I'm alone. Uh, I'm sitting there like this, like the world is coming down on you or looking inward. And I'm like, how, oh, what am I going to say? I've done this a hundred times. I know what I'm going to say. So I'm like, I literally got up and started doing like calisthenics over there to just like loosen my mind and my body up. So it's not like I'm not like that. I, I, I just do it anyway. If you talk to my wife, she'll be like, Charlie's the most insecure person ever. You know, getting knocked out on live television really, really like well, humbled you. There is that. Shakes the webs out, you know, shakes the web <laughs> out, whatever. Kids see a fighter and they assume, kind of rightfully so, this guy should be really tough and like a freaking steel. Uh, but I'm not, I'm the opposite of that. You're leaving your job. And now you're going to chase this MMA thing. What's that look like? So a couple of things that to point out, this is just philosophy or my experience. I did it in a proper, respectful way. Meaning I took care of all the paperwork. I talked to all the right people. I didn't burn any bridges. I put my, my teaching cert on hold. I, I won my episode, 120 grand. This is while I was teaching. And then was invited back and won a new car the second time. And so we were uh, the pros of the Joes. When did you realize that you needed to get out? So when I, I got knocked out, so, you know, it's, it, it's kind of basic, right? It, we're all kids. As many like famous, successful, rich, whatever people that I meet, I realized like, we're just kids. Like, we're just kids. We're just trying to figure it out. Just trying to fit in. Just trying to, like, have friends. Like, I'm just trying to feel good. I want to have fun. How do you handle change? How do you navigate through that whenever you're forced to make a, a big change in life? I think, like, to keep it simple and effective, uh, the answer to your question, I've identified a few habits that I do religiously that don't change no matter what. And that's 